Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on cholangio carcinoma. It is a cancer that arises from the ductula epithelium of the biliary tree and it can occur either within the liver where at the intrahepatic bile ducts or it is more commonly arising from the extrahepatic bile ducts. So this cholangio carcinoma is an uncommon malignancy where it only consists of around 3% out of all the gastrointestinal tract cancers. The median age of onset is in elderly, which is around 65 years old, and it is more commonly seen among males compared to females. This is the bismuth classification of the cholangeal carcinoma. So there are four types. Type 1 is if the tumor occurs below the confluence of the hepatic ducts. This is the right and left hepatic duct and it occurs below the bifurcation. So type 2 is the tumor reaching the confluence of the hepatic ducts. Type 3, it is divided into 3A and 3B. So the difference is, uh, so overall it involves the common hepatic duct and the difference is it either involves the right hepatic duct or the left hepatic duct. So 3A and 3B. Whereas type 4, it is a multicentric tumor or it involves the confluence together with both the hepatic ducts, the right and left hepatic ducts. And take note that there is also a type of tumour arising at the bifurcation of the hepatic ducts, which is the Klatskin tumour. So look at this picture showing the epidemiol the incidence, how high the risk. So around out of all the cases of cholangeal carcinoma, 5-10% to are located in the intrahepatic bile ducts, which is within the liver. And most of them, which consists of 60 to 70 percent of cholangeal carcinoma, are actually located at the bifurcation of the biliary system, which is called as Klatskin tumor. And other cases are located at the extrahepatic bile ducts, which are more commonly called as distal cholangeal carcinoma. These are the signs and symptoms when the patient presents to the hospital. So it depends on where the tumour is. If the tumour is at the bifurcation of the hepatic ducts or it is in the distal common bowel duct, then they may present with this uh, sign and symptoms suggestive of biliary obstruction, such as painless progressive jaundice, which is yellowish discoloration of the skin or the eyes, pale coloured stools, dark urine or we call it as tea colour urine, and pruritus where there is itching of the skin. Whereas if the lesion arises within the liver, which are from the intrahepatic ducts of the liver, then they may present with non-specific symptoms, such as malice, loss of weight, and abdominal pain. There, there won't be any signs of obstructive jaundice in most cases. So if we are suspecting for cholangeal carcinoma, or the patient presented with painless progressive jaundice, then these are the investigations that we can do. We should do blood tests such as liver function tests where we expect a rise in the ALP and GGT since the bowel ducts are involved. Tumor markers such as CA99 or CEA can also increase in pancreatic cancer. However, it is not specific as CA99 can also increase in pancreatic cancer, colorectal cancer, gastric cancer, gynecological cancers and also cholangitis. And this CEA, it is primarily a tumor marker for colorectal cancer, but it can also be used in cholangeal CA workup. Imaging such as trans-abdominal ultrasound can help to identify any dilatation of the bowel duct and also localize the site of obstruction. Contrast-enhanced CT scan, triple face or helical CT scan to detect intrahepatic cholangeal carcinoma. Cholangeography. Non-invasive would be MRCP and invasive would be ERCP. So it helps to assess the tumor anatomy and resectability. CT tap to assess metastatic spread to other organs. This is a picture showing a filling defect at the confluence of the bowel ducts. So this is a case of a clad skin tumor where there is the tumor arising from the bifurcation of the hepatic ducts. So the curative treatment is a complete surgical resection of the tumour with histologically negative margins. That is the only cure. 
However, only 25% of the tumors are resectable. So depending on where the tumor is, if it is an extrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma affecting the common bowel duct, so extrahepatic is outside the liver, the bowel duct is outside the liver, then the treatment is to resect the biliary tree and the hilar lymphatics. If it is a hilar tumor, or we call it as Klutskin's tumor, then we do the above, which is the resection of the biliary tree, resection of the hilar lymphatics, plus a partial hepatectomy, which is resection of the liver. Whereas if it is a distal cholangiocarcinoma, then the procedure to be done is Whipple's procedure, which is pancreatoduodenectomy. So that is all for this video. Thank you.